and then he addressed Hazrat Abu Zarqafari رضي الله تعالى عنه and told him that when a person offers prayers solely for the sake of Allah, when a person offers prayers solely for the sake of Allah, his sins fall away like these leaves of the tree. <coughs> Similarly, Hazrat Usman رضي الله تعالى عنه reports in Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ said that a Muslim who performs wudu properly for his first salah, when the time for the salah comes, and then he offers it with humbleness, a proper raku, a beautiful sajda, or a prostration, then the prayer will become free from all his previous sins. All the sins from one salah to other salah will be forgiven. This is the merit of salah. Not only is this, but salah is an excellent source of training of a believer also. Salah trains a believer to be an actual and a true Muslim. It teaches us punctuality. It teaches us purity. Salah trains us to adopt the Islamic dress code. Salah teaches us and trains us to leave our homes and to walk in the path of Allah for the sake of Allah. So it is actually a training for immigration for the sake of Allah. It is a training for jihad in the path of Allah. Salah teaches us discipline. Salah teaches us the concept of equality. There is no concept of color, creed, race, no discrimination. This is a training by Salah. It removes kibur, arrogance from the heart of the believer. Salah trains the believer to be humble. It teaches us humbleness. It teaches us the concept of Muslim brotherhood and fraternity. It promotes Muslim brotherhood and fraternity. And then it provides all the Muslims a chance to inquire about each other and the chance to help out each other. This is, this is all the chance a Muslim who is going to the mosque, he, he has all these chances to do all that. And not only this, not only is there's that what I've talked is that all the steps of Salah are rewarding and forgiving and a source of bounties and blessings of Allah. And that Salah is one of the most wonderful worships, which gives us one of the most remarkable trainings as a believer.